Good morning, everyone. Tamse uh, Kiowao, it's wonderful to see you all here today. Um, a beautiful day, and, and if I may, uh, the first day of, of National Indigenous uh, People's History Month today. So quite fitting that we're here meeting on a nation-to-nation, government-to-government uh, basis for our PBM Summit. So I want to welcome everybody and just uh, introduce myself again. My name is Cassidy Karen. I'm the president of the Métis National Council. Of course, the Métis National Council has been the recognized national and international representative for the Métis Nation in Canada since 1983. The Métis National Council is currently comprised of elected leadership within Métis governments in the provinces of British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario. Um, and our gathering today is, is wonderful. It's great to be here. It's gathered, we're gathering in, in a commitment to represent our Métis Nation citizens, to make impacts within communities across the Métis Nation homeland. And it's an absolute privilege to do the work that I do of building connections, to work with Métis citizens across the homeland, and to join you all today with community in mind. In addition to being grounded in community, today we also are gathering with a commitment to the process and the procedure of the Canada Métis Nation Accord. The Canada Métis Nation Accord was signed by the Prime Minister and our Métis Nation Presidents in April of 2017. And the Accord established the permanent bilateral mechanism, which is what we'll call the PBM today, which is a series of meetings to track the progress on the Accord. So today marks a significant moment for us to institutionalize and operationalize the PBM process. Through this gathering and the work that we've done over the last year in resuming the PBM process, we're able to use this PBM going forward. We're extremely pleased to be joined today with my co-chair, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, as well as ministers from the Government of Canada as we discuss the progress and the challenges through the PBM process. Uh, your presence here today and, and your, your government's commitment uh, to the nation-to-nation, -nation, government to government relationship is one that's truly valued by the Métis Nation. By being here today, the Métis Nation is renewing its commitment to work through the PBM with your government on our common priorities, not just our priorities, but the priorities that we can help you achieve as well. I also wanted to thank and highlight the leadership from the Métis Nation for being here today. President Lisa Smith of Métis Nation British Columbia, President Audrey Patra of Métis Nation Alberta, President Glenn McCallum of Métis Nation Saskatchewan, President Margaret Fro, Métis Nation of Ontario, and President Melanie Omenaho from La Femme Machif Otipamisawak. Through our commitment to the PBM process, both the governing members and the Métis National Council are in a better position to advance and participate in conversations with the Government of Canada. We're in a position where our collaboration and cooperation and advocacy can continue to grow. Upholding and advancing Métis rights, interests, and the socioeconomic conditions of Métis citizens requires the recognition of self-government for our Métis governments. As you know, in 2023, the Government of Canada signed renewed self-government agreements with the Métis Nation Saskatchewan, Alberta, and, and, and Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Ontario. These agreements reaffirm our rights to self-government and allow greater jurisdiction over Métis citizens as governance is expanded and implemented throughout the homeland. And we eagerly look forward to the introduction and the passage of Métis self-government implementation legislation in Parliament this session. So today at our meeting, we'll be discussing and reporting on progress that have been made on the priorities that we established in December through our last leaders meeting and adding a new priority to the agenda, which will be emergency management, preparedness and recovery to our list. While this does not cover all of the priority areas for the Métis Nation, we will be able to discuss the areas that have faced challenges and that will be best uh, dis addressed and discussed through this PBM process. I am extremely proud of the work that we've done in the last year and a half at the Métis National Council. The Métis National Council has reached new heights of collaboration and the commitment that you will see uh, today is, is a testament to that work that we're doing together. As we promote Métis self-determination and continue to work in partnership with Canada, as we promote our joint priorities, we will continue to fulfill our roles as representatives of the Métis Nation and signatories to the Canada Métis Nation Accord. The opportunity that we have today is one that will continue to lead us down a path to renew our relationship by advancing Métis rights, interests, 
and improving the socioeconomic conditions of Métis citizens for the years to come. So again, I want to thank everybody for being here today and I look forward to all of the work that we're going to get done together. Thank you so much, Cassidy. It is, uh, like you say, so great to be here for the Crown Métis Nation Summit and meet with the Métis National Council. Um, we are gathered on traditional Algonquin territory uh, and, uh, and glad to be welcomed here. But before I begin, I also want to recognize the Métis communities and people affected by wildfires across the country. Uh, our thoughts are with you wherever you live, however you're affected, uh, and however you are supporting uh, the uh, incredible work done to keep people safe in their communities uh, and in their homes uh, across the country during this extremely difficult time. Uh, je suis très content d'être ici avec de nombreux ministres. Je vais souligner qu'il y a une couple de ministres qui sont en train justement de donner uh, des uh, mises à jour sur les feux de forêt à travers le pays et donc ils sont en route. Ils vont se joindre à nous uh, dans les prochaines minutes. Uh, but it was really important for me to make sure uh, that we are uh, well represented by ministers across government around this table because this um, relationship isn't just about uh, the indigenous ministries, uh, whether it's uh, North uh, or uh, I I Crown Indigenous Relations uh, or Indigenous Services, but about all ministries uh, across the country, uh, across the government. Um, this is a whole of government relationship, and that's why it's so important for me uh, to uh, be here to make sure uh, that we are connecting government to government, uh, leadership to leadership. Eight years ago, when we first got elected, uh, I sat down with the three uh, national indigenous organizations to talk about the way forward. And the way was clear, it had to be distinctions based. Uh, and from that moment, we started working uh, with the Inuit, with First Nations, and with the Metis Nation, uh, specifically on their priorities. Uh, because true reconciliation with indigenous peoples is about partnership, it's about sharing goals, it's about sharing the work. Uh, but it's also about doing away with the colonial perspective that Ottawa has all the solutions and will tell you what the best path forward is. Uh, what that means is a lot of listening, a lot of building together, uh, a lot of working together and uh, agreeing on shared priorities that are first and foremost uh, generated from uh, your communities, from your people. And that's uh, the approach that we've had uh, uh, very successfully across the country on uh, Indigenous issues. Uh, as uh, Cassidy pointed out, it's been uh, a few years because of COVID that we've been able to uh, sit down and gather, but I'm very, very excited about this permanent bilateral mechanism uh, kicking in uh, and uh, strongly advancing uh, the work that we're doing together uh, over the coming years. Uh, there's a number of uh, challenges uh, that we're concentrating on more specifically, as, uh, as uh, uh, Cassidy pointed out, uh, emergency preparedness for our communities is something that unfortunately is going to be more and more necessary, whether it's uh, floods uh, or fires uh, or other extreme weather events that are getting more frequent, uh, making sure we're properly coordinated uh, with people who know, who've known how to protect uh, their lands and their communities for centuries uh, is uh, going to be really, really important. Protecting our environment, which flows from it, uh, you are more likely to feel the impact of climate change, but you're also uh, sharing with us uh, the long-term thinking and the responsible thinking of stewardship uh, that we need to integrate even more into our approach to growing the economy and creating good futures for everyone. Um, we're making progress on the principles of co-development. It is incredibly important uh, to undo the colonialism of the past to bring as a foundational principle uh, nothing about the Métis without the Métis, uh, making sure that you are deeply involved in the crafting of legislation and principles uh, from how we activate UNDRIP to how we uh, protect our kids to how we care for our elders to how do we how we apply our justice systems. These are things that we need to work on together and we're absolutely going to do. 
uh, closing gaps in health care. Uh, the Indigenous Health Equity Fund that we uh, just announced uh, is part of making sure that the services you get uh, through provincial services uh, and uh, the work that we're doing to deliver health care as well uh, is done in as fair and responsive a way to, uh, to the particular needs of Métis peoples is uh, a huge priority. Then, of course, uh, there's advancing economic reconciliation, making sure there are opportunities and jobs uh, and wealth creation and prosperity in all of your communities and opportunities for all of your citizens. These are things that uh, we care about uh, as, uh, as a country. We want to see everyone succeed, uh, and you are uh, there to help create the conditions and the environment in which uh, your citizens are going to thrive. Lots to work on, lots to do together, uh, but as, as uh, uh, President Caron said, I'm really looking forward to co-chairing uh, this meeting with her uh, and making sure that we're uh, uh, rolling up our sleeves and getting to work on building a better future for all Canadians uh, that involves a thriving, prosperous, uh, full future for all Métis people right across the country. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.